welcome back to my channel so today i actually am in the process of retying my hair but there is one or two locks actually but at least one lock that i actually had to repair so i just recorded myself doing it so that you could see it so that's what this video is about today just showing you one way you can repair um a micro lock to be specific now there are a bunch of different ways there's about two or three different ways but this way is just going to show you how to interlock the loose hair so if you have thinning locks or if you have a strand or a section of loose hair that you would like to repair just stay tuned Okay, so this is the area of the lock that I'm trying to tighten and I'm gonna try to get you close up so you can see how it's loose hair. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little fuzzy, but it is loose hair there where like it's almost as if a hole is there, like it's just loose hair. Now, this part of my hair, um, remember I took some locks from the edges and split them. But this part, before I went natural, this part was really short, this, this edge part, because it was breaking off. So it's not that strong to begin with. So I'm trying to see if it can be a lock on its own. And this is my second time repairing it. So if it doesn't work out this time, then I know it probably needs to be joined with another lock. Now I'm going to start interlocking and I'm going to go right to that loose part. It is really difficult to get in because my locks are small. So if you're repairing like a thinning part or a hole, you really want to be gentle if it's a large space like this one is. Because you don't want to mm, kind of rip the hair to the point where you tugged on it too hard that the bottom of the lock just snapped off. That's what you don't want to happen. So I'm just taking it and going through and filling the loose part. And I'm doing it just like I would do the interlocks where I stick it through the loose hair in the middle of this lock. And I pull it all the way down to the locked part at the bottom. Now I'm going to show you a diagram shortly so that you can kind of see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. But I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to keep filling. If there's any spaces or gaps for some reason that maybe I thought I went through and I didn't, I'm going to go through and try to fill them. Now this is one of those place, spaces where it, it was really thin, so I had to be super, super gentle trying to pull it through because I do not want it to pop off. I would be devastated if a lock pops off. I'll probably cry. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. And these edges, I'm gonna have to retie earlier than the other ones, even if it is in between retightenings, just to kind of stay on top of them. Now, already after a few passes, I can feel the space filling in, it's getting shorter. Okay, so I'm gonna show you just the strands. So imagine that this part that I just drew is a lock, right? Now remember, locks are kind of like braids, interlocks. They're kind of like braids. So I'm drawing these kind of X's to kind of resemble braids. So you have the interlock part, and then you have the loose hair that is there. Now for me, it was a large space, so I did it a little bit longer. And then underneath it is part is a part that is interlocked fine, it's doing well, and it's locking like it should be. So when you're repairing it by doing an interlocking method, you take that bottom and you pull it through the loose hair and you just kind of do it repeatedly. There's not really a such thing as a 4.3 point here, you're just pulling it through. Now sometimes I will take the bottom and pull it in between the interlocked part at the top, a part that I know is solid because I'm trying to push that interlock down. So imagine me pushing one of those X's down or I'll put it through the bottom part so I'll take the end of the lock, pull it through the bottom to try to push some of the interlock pieces up. But I'm trying to fill that piece of loose hair and trying to make it as solid and as strong as possible by making sure that it is very well interlocked. So again, just be super, 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 super gentle when you're pulling it through. Now 
and my space is getting smaller and smaller now I do have some bubbles like some empty spaces so for those if I pull on them if I grab the top part of the bubble and a bottom and pull it it will put the lock in place where it should be the interlocking that I did it'll put it in place where it should be but again be gentle when you pull on it to try to straighten out any of those bubbles Now for this one, I'm going to actually put my finger at the top because there is a bubble there that I quite, couldn't quite get so far. So I'm going to try to interlock it and then I'm going to put my finger at the top of that bubble, which is kind of like a space of loose hair that got caught in between interlocks. And I'm going to put my hand, a finger at the top to hold on to it. And then I'm going to kind of wind the bottom in a circle. You can see me pushing through those bubbles, helping the locks to go into the right area. But I put my finger at the top and I kind of wiggle my hand like I just did. It's really quick, but that motion just helps those bubbles kind of fill out a little bit more. And now you can see it's definitely more straight. And it is a little bit more even. So I'm not going to go and keep interlocking until I'm just positive it's done. I'm going to go just like I do my reties to right where I think it should be good enough. But I, if I do another piece, it might be too tight because the hair always bounces back when it's natural. Curly hair bounces back, so I got to leave it room and space to bounce back without it contracting too much on me. So I want a little bit of space in there, but I do want to make sure it's as evenly interlocked as possible. So when I'm satisfied, and at this point I am, then I go ahead and I stop. And if you notice now, that part that was loose, it now has like the X pattern. It has the interlock pattern now, and it's a little bit more stronger. I'm going to keep an eye on it still, because I may have to combine this lock, but let's see how it does. Now that it's been interlocked to repair the thinning part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I do a bunch of things about my locks. I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, adios.